Hey guys, um, this is the province generator tool I've been working on for the last few weeks. Uh, you might have seen the Reddit post I put up a couple weeks ago uh, demoing what I had then, but if you haven't, um, this is a tool which divides up your map into provinces and hopefully gets rid of the bulk of the tedious work in making maps for Hearts of Iron. So to make a map with this program, you need to specify a few details. So um, you need to provide a land map. This is just a map which tells a program where land, sea and lake provinces are. You just need to make a map with these three colours, specifying lakes, land and sea. Uh, the exact colour values are in the readme file, so this should be pretty easy to make. You need to provide a terrain map. Uh, this tells a program what types of terrain. Obviously you've got jungle and marshes and hills and mountains and uh, all the colour values again are in the readme. So this shouldn't take too long to design. There's a province density map. This sets where the small provinces and larger provinces are. So the lighter areas will have larger provinces, the black areas will have smaller provinces. Uh, you can make this completely grayscale. These have set levels because I was lazy when I was making this map. Uh, this settings file sets the uh, minimum and maximum size of land and sea provinces, the average size of states, and mountain range size is something for the height map that this program generates. Uh, you'll see what that means in a minute. So with these four files in place, just click the exe and it should go away and start generating. I won't do this now because I've already done it, but it doesn't take too long. It doesn't take more than a minute on my computer. So let's see what this generates. So these are the output files. Um, obviously it generates your province map. So this corresponds to the province density map you see saw before with uh, larger provinces up in this area going down to denser areas down here. Um, sea provinces and lake provinces are all done as well. Uh, one thing to note is that lake provinces are always done as one province. So if this lake was really big, it will still be just one province, which can be a problem if you have a massive lake. It shouldn't be too hard to split it up yourself though. It gives you a terrain map. If you don't know, in Hearts of Iron, this tells the game uh, what textures to use across your map. It gives you a height map. So this is what I was talking about before with the mountain ranges. If you see down here, this large mountainous area has got split up into smaller ranges. So that's what that does. It gives you a world normal map. This is for the shader in Hearts of Iron to so set shadows and highlights. Of course, you have the definitions file setting the terrain and different values about the different provinces. Um, you have a terrain review file. This isn't for the game. This is just so that you can see how the terrain has been mapped to the provinces. This also outputs state files. So it groups together provinces into a bunch of states. These are mainly just placeholders that you can go in and then edit around, but it gives you a good starting point to start uh, making your map. It also generates this color map RGB cities. Uh, which is in the original game as well, and it's kind of a weird one. If you get the eyedropper tool, you can see the color changes, even though the transparency is on full. This sets the color of the map, and I'm not sure why they made it transparent like this, but this file, this program generates it, so um, you shouldn't have to worry about that. So yeah, it should be really simple to use. Just provide these four input files, more detail on those input files are in the README where it lists all the color values and stuff you should be using. If you want to get hold of me, I included a link to a Discord server in the README file. So I should be on there if you come across any bugs or problems. But hopefully it works all smoothly and I uh, look forward to seeing some new maps in Hearts of Iron.